Bahamas with Bob, Island House Invitational, Sarah True, and her husband, Ben True. Sarah, you just punched your ticket. Top 10, sixth overall today. You get to go to the big island tomorrow. How fun is that? I'm really, really excited. Ben's pretty excited too. You know, he's, he's just spectating and watching uh, and letting me do all the hard work, yes. but uh, it's fun for both of us. Yeah, I'm really excited. So you fourth at the London Olympics. You go to the Olympics again this year, cramping, obviously not your day, but the beside, besides the racing, the experience of your second Olympics? You know, it's it's always such a ridiculous honor to be able to represent your country at the U.S. Um, you know, obviously, I did a lot to get there, and I try to to focus on that because that's a pretty special yes a special thing to be able to accomplish. Um, right. Yeah, no, it was it was a sad day, but um, you know, it was uh, at the at the end of it all. You know, I'll, I'll remember that I was a two-time Olympian and regardless of uh, the, the end result. Well, the cool part is, look at how you and Gwen and Katie and all these girls who are following along have revived American triathlon. I mean, think about the number of times that the three of you were on the podium together and the fact that Gwen got the gold and we had three very strong Americans and all ranked in the top, top 10 in the world for the last number of years. You have to be very proud of, of where triathlon was when you first got in for the U.S. and where it's at now. Well, I I came in the coattails of uh, you know Cielo Tarmina and Barb yes. Lindquist and yes. and Laura, so I had them as role models, and you know hopefully we can be role models for the next generation of uh, U.S. women coming up. So so Ben, for you the Olympic trials this last year, uh, how'd you do with the trials? Uh, not not my day. It wasn't my day. So uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> unfortunate circumstances but you know that such a sport <laughs> what type of circumstances uh, for the 10k um, I just something wasn't right with me and uh, the heat and humidity just killed me and um, just wasn't there and uh, on the 5k I just didn't the tactics I just didn't play the game right um, and so ended up fifth about a half a second out of first oh. and um, so I it was just watching on the sidelines instead of being able to participate in Rio. Your PR for 5K is what? Uh, 13.02. How ridiculous is that? I, I don't think people can really fathom. <laughs> I can hang with him maybe for 100 meters of yeah. that, just full out sprinting, and that's about it. <laughs> What's interesting is you've got you know a lot of the folks here, you have a lot of couples. They're both triathletes. You guys are both professional athletes in, in different sports, but obviously very similar sports. How do you balance that as, as a couple and as two elite athletes? I think it's it's just the travel that's the hardest part. You know, obviously um, Ben's a bit more of a homebody, but we we both have to compete internationally and you know trying to make sure that we still see each other. Um, right. You know, a few months out of the year. Um, <laughs> and, you know, you try to be supportive and and we can relate to the other other person's sport without completely understanding. So it's not like we're going to try to coach each other. Um, oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, no, it's it's a really good thing. So we we're capable of talking about other things other than you know our respective athletic careers at the end of the day and that's pretty important so so Ben you did you weren't able to make the team this year but having Sarah make the team and going down the Rio that still had to be pretty special for you yeah I uh, know it was great and it was great to be able to support Sarah and, and just be able to take it all in um, yeah it was it was pretty cool when you look back you know, obviously you're talking 1302 but what do you look back as, as the most important race of, of your career Oh, hopefully the most important hasn't happened yet, uh, so we'll see. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, when I was six at World Cross a few years ago, um, it was one of the first times in about 20 years um, that an American had been in the top 10, and we actually had two Americans in the top 10 that year. And uh, as a team, because uh, cross-country, World Cross scored as a team, the U.S. ended up second for silver. Uh, that, was, that was a pretty special moment to be a part of. And we talked about the triathlon and how the women have helped bring American American triathlon back uh, from American running, going back to Dina Castor and Meb Kofleski in 2004, and then we've, we have Galen Rupp. Americans have really turned it around. For a long time, we weren't even a factor on the world scene. Yeah, no, it's very impressive. Um, you know, the di American distance runners have really, you know, started... Uh, doing really well. We started to believe that we can race with the world's best and and you can see that um, I think last year We had two guys ranked in the top ten or three guys ranked in the top ten in the world in the 5k um, And that's just that's amazing um, You know, there's not too many countries that can have three guys ranked in the top ten in the world. So it's it's pretty cool So this 
upcoming year? Will it be track? Will you run some roads? What will you be goals? Uh, focus will be the track still, um, but the roads are a lot of fun, um, so I'll definitely do a few of those. But uh, the focus is still the track and the 5K. Yep. And before you, you had a decision to make earlier in your career. You were a Nordic skier yep. and you were a runner. Yep. How did you make that decision? Which way to go? Yeah, um, that was a tough decision. Uh, I, I did both all the way through college at Dartmouth, um, and it was a lot of fun, and it was a really hard decision to make. Uh, I actually, the first time I made the decision, I decided to be a skier, and I quit running. Uh, my junior year in college, I said, all right, that's it for running. I'm just going to be a skier. Uh, and so when I walked away from the sport fully from running, that I realized, I think, you know, I kind of actually like running a lot. So uh, I kind of got pulled back into the sport, and I uh, haven't looked back since. So, Sarah, how'd you guys meet? I uh, we it was it was kind of a setup of sorts. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just happened to be around at uh, a mutual acquaintance's house when uh, Ben came through. Was uh, borrowing a, an altitude tent, and he had uh, broken his toe that morning. Um, was looking to ride bikes, and I got roped into riding with him. And you know, that was kind of that was kind of it. Sort of cute. Yeah, it is kind of cute. Yeah. So with with uh, riding a bike, swimming, does uh, my man Ben do some of that stuff? He's a really strong cyclist. Um, we've we we've ridden together a few times yeah. this year. We don't ride together that often because most of the year he's just running. Um, but yeah, he's he's a handful. <laughs> he's terrorizing all the local cyclists. The two times a year he goes on the bike, he he'll ride for an hour and just pick up all the KOMs on Strava and just upset uh, really? upset the local guys. Yeah. <laughs> so you like the bike? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I I, I used to ride it a bunch when I was in high school uh, and then when I was training for skiing. Um, but since I've been a runner, I really haven't ridden it at all, but I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. That is really cool. So, Sarah, this next year, I mean, you getting ready for this race, I'm sure you had to get into that aero position thing and get Ooh. the aero bars <laughs> on. I mean, people don't realize it's, yeah. triathlon is totally different. Yeah. This a different game when you get in that TT position. Yeah, I, it's it's not just the position. It's it's the mental part. I That really was apparent to me yesterday is, um, you know, you're just trying to, trying to stay around threshold for the entire time. And, and mentally, that's, that's so different for us where we're used to just – reacting we're right. racing um almost criterium format where yeah, somebody goes yeah. and you go yeah so it's 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 far more reactive less internal so i have to do some meditation and stuff you know really really learn how to be look in at that your power position. meter exactly so it's it was it was a kind of a wake-up call yesterday that if i want to uh do some non-draft i'm gonna have to get that that side of it I, I could see you being really, really good at non-drafting, well, obviously. <laughs> what, what do you think? Will you do a few of those next year? I'd like to. I'd like to. I think it'd be fun. Um, um, yeah. Is there another Olympics in your future? I don't know. Him. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say no. I'm okay. not going to say no. Um, you know, we have, we have such a strong U.S. women's team, and it yes. requires a lot of international travel. Um, you know, it's, it's been a really hard uh process the past four years on on us sure. so this is something where we'll have to talk about um but you know i'd, I'd like i'd like ben to punch his ticket yeah, yeah. 2016 and, and then a lot of a lot of times you get guys who are five thousand guys and they still oh, look at galen rupp all of a sudden he's you know running a marathon you see yourself going that direction or you can stick with speed and five and ten yeah, not to the marathon anytime soon. Good. <laughs> I, I'm a good uh, probably 40 pounds heavy for the marathon, so it's gonna it's gonna take some time before I get there. But uh, I'd like to run a few at uh, some time um, when I'm really fit and I can really race it. Um, but it won't be for a while. Love it. Ben and Sarah True, we're here at Island House Invitational. Sarah True going to the Big Island tomorrow and. <laughs> The best part about that is top 10 go, and the worst you can walk away with is 10K. Not too bad. Not a bad day at the office. Sarah True will be treating at the bar, lots of drinks with little umbrellas in them. This coconut, is, coconut drinks. This is Bahamas <laughs> with Bob. Hold on, everyone. We will be right back.